what drew you to the world of sales and what do you like enjoy uh, most about it pm 5 hours i used to go into market go to at least 20 25 showrooms explain them what is happening and does not know how to expand or how to do sales to get continuous money inside mm. Did, uh, yeah. lego bricks to create a uh, entire 20 <laughs> Welcome to the show, Ritam. Welcome, welcome to the show. Like, we are so happy to have you today. Thank you so much, Ashwari. And I think we've been having this conversation for almost one and a half years now. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, my bad that uh, I am late to the party, but uh, so happy to be part of uh, uh, the good uh, change making that you have been doing. Uh, okay. I've, I've heard a couple of podcasts. To be honest, I heard uh, uh, a few of them last night. Uh, and I was very surprised with the kind of uh, uh, things that you got out of guests. So yes, looking forward to a great conversation. Thank you so much. Like it means a lot. I've got another fan for the uh, for the podcast. I can say <laughs> so. It's very nice. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so like it is a pleasure to have you here today. You have got such a diverse range of interests and you know expertise from film production and you know Lego mastery to sales training and uh, like content like you know creating mandalas and content creation let's start with what seems to be professional passion for you and that is sales so what drew you to the world of sales and what do you like enjoy uh, most about it okay so um i have a very small story about how did i end up being in sales so you know as a school boy i used to be uh, the most shy person uh, in the class possible sort of a uh, hundred and twenty people batch. I don't think so. Many probably twenty five thirty se jada logo se baat kiya hoga, Even though I studied with them for good fourteen years, okay. you know. So uh, and I just think of uh, Aritam's version. So sales to dur ki baat hai. It was even very difficult for me to hold a conversation or even to initiate a conversation. So I was very sure I'll go into engineering or I'll become a scientist. I'll do something which does not involve any connection with people. So I can be in my own zone and I can uh, do things. You know, if I'm a scientist, just research. Right. So I wanted to be uh, 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 very sharply focused on becoming a computer engineer or a physicist or a astro scientist. Um, and in my first year of college, because I used to live in hostels, so I had a lot of spare time after college. Uh, where I wanted to do extracurricular things. So, uh, her college mein na, uh, there's a college festival that happens. So, our college mein bhi, pure zone ka university ka youth festival was happening. Okay. I was an 18 and a half year old person uh, back then. So, I joined the student committee. I said, anyways, I have time. I'll get to learn something new um, as a part of it. And I wanted to be part of the organizing, managing wala thing. So, I, I told them, Ki meko organizing, managing, designing, mein rakho, I'll be more than happy. Uh, but don't give me something which is a ridiculous task for me. Because mm-hmm. again, first year, what do you expect? Karo? So they said, usme to abhi space nahi hai. Uh, the only space we have right now is in the sponsorship team. We are looking for someone to do the running around. Now, in the sponsorship okay. team, mein sab log third year. Wale the. So they needed yeah. for first year guy to just turn up. Jo unka basically uh, aisa run around boy ho na, right. who can just go to different people with proposal and then uh, get leads for them. Aisa. So I started doing that. I was like, okay. You don't have choices. You are new in a city. This is also a good way to explore the city to understand right. how people right. think, etc. So every day I used to target one new area and then I used to go there, show, shops, mein, showrooms, mein, offices mein, to ask for sponsorship. Uh, okay. And my was a simple target. 50,000 sponsorship sell karna tha meko. Total okay. kuch, 3-4 lakh rupay ka to, total budget tha, tha. So mm-hmm. they expected that you would 50,000. Mm-hmm. So I started going across... Uh, uh, ek din gaya, rejection hua, baut bura laga because life mein kabhi rejection kisi ke muh se nahi suna tha parents ke siwa ki koi tumhare muh pe tumhe gali de de uh, second day kind of uh, went bad third day went bad aisa karke almost nothing was uh, coming meaningful so every day after college from 3 pm to 8 pm 5 hours i used to go into market go to at least 20 25 showrooms explain them what is happening and i am from Xavier's so Xavier's mein to as such Xavier's ka festival okay. was already popular <laughs> So, uske baujud, this used to be kind of a problem. And uh, then, uh, uh, fifth day, ke baad, I went to the senior and I said, Yar, I cannot do this. Put me into some other committee because ye sales se nahi hoga. this is like, uh, uh, you know, re- this is just continuous rejection. 
अभी उसकी भी मजबूरी होगी तो ही सेड आई कैन चेंज द कमिटी बट यू मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल दोस्ट थिंग्स जिसकी वजह से पीपल आर सींग नो टू यू Okay. And uh, uh, and find what are the answers that you should speak so that you can negate them. Right, right. So okay. uh, again, I made a list of seven eight things. I mean, the people used to have very basic things like students, how many will come, footfall will be reduced. I will do what I will do. X Y Z. So I made a list of all those things. In that day, there was a different type of rejection. So that list was made. So I made a list out of it. Sixth day, I went across to a car showroom. So I made a list out of it. Sixth day, I went across to a car showroom. and uh, i told them about this and uh, fortunately of course they also had a new car coming in uh, and they asked me every question jiske basis pe main reject ho chuka tha and i had an answer to most of them saying that okay. said, this is what we should do what we can do it what we cannot do x y z and uh, they were like okay come tomorrow and we'll finalize it so i said agar ye finalize hota hai to theek hai i'll continue otherwise main student committee mein apna muh nahi dikhane wala because again <laughs> i ke paas koi aur kaam hai nahi mere liye so i went there Uh, 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 again he did a half an hour grilling ask me every possible question exercise mm-hmm. and then eventually he, he was like yaar okay chalo let's do it aapka yeah. ask kya hai uske samne main i i'd asked him for some 1 lakh rupees uh, he agreed for 85000 rupees we were both happy uh, he gave me a <laughs> letter head ke upar confirmation that we will be doing this i went to my um, uh, student committee and uh, my jo faculty the i went to him i gave him the letter and i said dekho this is what has happened i got 85000 rupees aisa yeah. and uh, we still had a month for the festival so mere ko pehli bar confidence aaya that you can use your words to convince people because i had yeah. never done that so then eventually i think i started realizing that uh, uh, not just convince people but also generate value you know it was a value generation for um, the car showroom guy because they got yeah. a additional audience of young people who would eventually buy the car Right. Uh, for the college festival because otherwise the festival wouldn't have happened unless right. uh, or would have happened in a very congested manner if if we wouldn't have been able to uh, procure the money uh, so i said yaar matlab the only thing that i did in an entire process was i spoke you know right right uh, and speaking is uh, one of the big things so next onwards i started uh, गोइंग टू मोर शोरूम धीरे 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 एंड नाइन एंड एन आई वॉज कॉन्फिडेंट किया मैं तो अपने टारगेट ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीट कर चुका हूँ सो नाउ वट एवर आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज बोनस एंड एन आई ओवर एवरी डे पीपल यूज टू आस्क मी क्वेश्चन उसके बेसिस पे आई कैप्टन फॉर्मुलेटिंग माई स्टोरी सो बाई द फिफ्टीन डे आई रियलाइज की आई शुड नेवर स्टार्ट विद के कॉलेज में क्या हो रहा है आई शुड ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद वाई एम आई यर फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ वेरी बिग पार्ट ऑफ सेल्स इज दट यू नीड टू फर्स्ट बिल्ड अ ट्रस्ट बिफोर यू सेल so right. i started always going into a space jahan pe i started telling them how did i end up here what does my father do why am i so excited as a student and i realized that typical business owners with whom i was dealing or gm level people uh, in good showrooms they used to typically get excited they used to sit with me for 15 20 minutes even yeah. if they never had money they used to tell me on face saying that yaar paisa nahi so my type of rejection also changed you know instead of outrightly rejecting yeah. me they used yeah. to spend time and then reject across uh and uh, over that one month out of 4 lakh i myself got 3 lakh 30000 rupees or 3 lakh 20 30000 rupees so almost 80% of the festival happened because the first year old guy ran across and did crazy sponsorship okay, <laughs> so mere liye this kind of became like a thing for which everyone started knowing me in the college you know and suddenly yeah. you are doing something in first year being a person jisko class mein no one re- even recognizes you know so mere class walon ke sath i didn't used to speak much स्कूल में भी किसी से बात नहीं किया कॉलेज में भी नहीं किया एंड सडनली एवरीवन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट अ प्रेशर सेलिंग स्पॉन्सरशिप लाइक हॉट केक सो सो दैट काइंड ऑफ बिकेम अ थिंग सो यस ओवर देन ऑफ कोर्स दैट वाज वन ऑफ द रीजंस दैट आई काइंड ऑफ एनरोल्ड इनटू एमबीए बिकॉज आई सेड यार दिस बिजनेस साइड ऑफ थिंग्स इज आल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज मच एज आई एम ऑलवेज फैसिनेटेड बाय अ साइंस बीइंग अ सन टू अ साइंटिस्ट बट दिस साइड ऑफ थिंग्स वर आल्सो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई गॉट uh a quantity to part of a business that i had never seen my family me kisi ne business nahi kiya i've never seen how a business happens so yeah i think that is where sales came in and uh mere ko sabse zyada kick milta answering your question is uh, uh is is when i get to meet new people uh, build new relationships it's not about winning uh, a account winning a client anymore of course uh, when you win you feel really happy Uh, but abhi aisa ho chuka because you have been doing that for almost 13 14 years those wins have kind of become very organic part of your life right so right. you know that abhi just four days back a very strong proposal we were like so we worked on it for almost 25 days day and night um wow. 
pitched it we were almost sure ki hamare se acha koi nahi kar sakta but the work didn't come to us kind of so so abhi uh, initially these failures used to feel really bad now this has become part of it you know that if you are going to uh, reach out to five people and sell uh, two might say yes three might say no uh, but this is going to happen as a right. part of uh, right. the things right. so yes yeah i totally agree with you on that and you know like mujhe aapki story sun ke itna maza aaya hai and thoda bahut maine relate kiya hai and the thing which you said ki you know hum kam aapko aage aana padega to discover something in your own self kyunki jab tak aap apne aap ko put out nahi karoge na tab tak aapko khud nahi pata chalega ki yes ye ye bhi mere andar ek you know ek capability hai ya mere andar ek you know something a good part i have so i think ki uh, you need to आपको अपने आप को पुट यू यू नीड टू पुट योर सेल्फ फॉरवर्ड फॉर ऑल दिस स्टफ फॉर चैलेंजेस एंड फॉर एवरीथिंग बिकॉज यू आर द यू फॉर द पर्सन एंड फॉर यू थोड़ा सा भी लग था कि अच्छा हुआ दैट पर्सन डिडेंट यू नो आपको हटाया नहीं टीम से आपको रखा रहा बट ना तो फिर आप भी पीछे हट जाते सो आई थिंक कि हमें पीछे तो हटते ही नहीं चाहिए एक बार ट्राई तो करना ही चाहिए एंड द थिंग विच यू सेड ki you know selling and building trust and with relationship with people um let me also share a story with you so what happened like four years back uh when i you know i started this podcast and i was like 14 at that time and uh, i was wow. like ki ab main kaise kahun kisi ko ki come on my show uh, people are like okay you are 14 and you will be talking about mental health bro what will you talk about mental health right so people started underestimating me so what i did is ki jab mujhe pata chala ki mere ko rejections kyun mil rahe mil rahe hain meri age ki wajah se so what i started doing i used to never tell people my age i i even never put my dp or whatsapp something like ki unko pata chalega ki i am young so if you ever if you also see my dp or whatsapp you will not see my face in there so that's like ki i didn't you know tell used to tell people my age because they used to underestimate me so ab maine kya kiya age batana chhoda people started coming and when they came on the show just like you and i'm like yeah i'm 14 ab kahan jaoge ab to aa gaye so it's like ki uh, it's like uh, it, this is something which i also tried and you are very uh, like right on that ki agar aap paanch che jagah try karoge aapko khali ho sakta hai zero mile ya ek ya do log aap mein interest dikhaye but ab paanch che logo se jo seekh rahe ho na jo conversation kar rahe ho and uh, you know जो रिलेशन बिल्ड कर रहे हो क्योंकि यू आर पुटिंग सेल्फ योर सेल्फ ऑफ देयर यू आर टेलिंग पीपल अबाउट यू पीपल आर नोइंग अबाउट यू सो आप इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हो खुद को इट्स लाइक आई ऑल्सो रीच आउट टू यू नो हंड्रेड पीपल इन अ डे सो भी जाके हमें सौ दो सौ मेल करते हो तो जाके मेरे पास तीन चार का रिप्लाई वापस आता है सो इट्स लाइक तब भी हो सकता है कि पाँच लाइक दस बारह के भी रिप्लाई आते हैं तो उनमें से खाली दो या तीन गेस्ट कन्वर्ट होते हैं तो बट जो टेन टू ट्वेल्व पीपल और उनके पी आर्स है ना एटलीस्ट दे आर हैविंग माई नंबर सो दे आर नो वॉट आई एम डूइंग सो इन द फ्यूचर ऑल्सो दे कैन कनेक्ट विद मी सो आई थिंक इट्स ऑल अबाउट बिल्डिंग रिलेशनशिप्स इन दिस एरिया वेर यू सेल वेर यू प्रेजेंट योर सेल्फ वेद इट्स पब्लिक स्पीकिंग और सेलिंग सेलिंग आई गेस कि आपको रिलेशनशिप्स बिल्ड करना सबसे ज्यादा जरूरी है सो आई कैन टोटली रिलेट विद यू ऑन दैट पॉइंट नाउ आई एम एटीन सो इट्स लाइक कि it's good you know when you talk to people out there and just like you it's organic for me you know to pura din agar main i'm on my whatsapp or i'm talking to people so it's very okay for me ki main bahut dino se bhi mehnat kar rahi thi and that does doesn't happen or woh convert nahi hua it feels bad at some point but fair okay hai theek hai part of life hai ye nahi to koi aur se but jab aap wo build up karte ho na relationships you talk to people out there aapka confidence itna increase hota hai ki ab aapko public mein log kahin pe bhi bhejte hain you're so confident about yourself ki yes i can talk to anyone now so like uh, i would ask you the question like what are some you know common mistakes you see like organizations make when they like in the sale uh, selling process so i think most of the organizations that i see specifically uh, uh, young organizations they don't have a sales process at all um uh, they have a belief that if i am selling something which is uh, required by uh, the world it will sell automatically you know so they um they would make a good product or service and then they will wait for the magic to happen now a uh, uh, a bigger learning for me and uh, especially from a lot of organizations that i've seen have which have shut down is that they missed out completely on the part of doing sales because no one in the organization the core team knew how to do sales 
you know hmm. not every founder comes with an interest in sales most of the founders for example tech company my founder is very tech focused or a uh, very business focused uh, uh, operation focused to be right, uh, right, right. in in other kind of companies um, so founder knows how to manage money knows how to run the business how to produce goods how to distribute goods but does not know how to expand or how to do sales to get continuous money inside mm-hmm. that is kind of a challenging part for most uh, uh, businesses so i i matlab mean, every young business at that i meet and when i say young does not meet uh, a business which is just a year or two old any business which is say uh, uh, less than 10 year old jahan pe or probably any business jahan pe there is a daily or a monthly fight to survival you just need to focus on one thing you need to learn sales and you need to do sales very right or you need to hire someone who knows sales and probably uh, lead them to build a sales process because without that uh, sales is like food to your body you know you might be wanting to run a marathon great but if you don't know how to get food and you have to, if you just thinking that your body will endlessly produce uh, uh, energy by magic that's not going to happen so sales is like the food for body kind of a thing right right i totally agree with you on that like um, people say ki agar aapka product acha hai to wo aap market mein space uh, find kar hi lega but wo space agar find karega to zyada log educate nahi ho payenge until unless aapki sales stream like team strong nahi hogi तो यू यू शुड हैव अगर आपके पास वो लाइक मैंने जितना शार्क टैंक देखा एंड आई लाइक आई आल्सो हैव दिस फैमिली बिजनेस इन एवरीथिंग एंड नाउ आई विल बी आल्सो गोइंग टू परस्यू माय बीबीए बिकॉज़ आई हैव अ कीन इंटरेस्ट इन बिजनेस सो आई थिंक कि अगर आपका सेल्स बैकग्राउंड अच्छा नहीं है तो आपको किसी और को हायर कर लेना चाहिए फॉर सेल्स लाइक यू नो दैट मूवी इफ यू हैव वॉच दैट रणबीर कपूर की वेयर ही वाज दिस सरदार या so i think rocket singh the rockets rock rock rocket singh right so it's all about sales and uh, because sales is the key agar aap product bana loge aapko har cheez aati hai aur uski marketing karni nahi aati sale karna nahi aata market mein to wo kitna bhi acha product ho wo logo ki nazron mein nahi aayega so that's right. of yeah. course yes so and and aap uh, uh, that is the reason that a lot of businesses don't perform or they shut down is because sales karna nahi aata product bahut amazing banaya uh, uh, you know branding bahut acha kar liya office mm-hmm. bahut acha bana liya but sales karna nahi aata so yes right so what advice would you give to those organizations ki kaise apne aap ko put forward kare you know kyunki selling is not easy and sabki bas ki baat nahi hoti and kabhi kabhi to it's like ki hame wo lo, uh, correct log bhi nahi milte so what right. do you so, suggest so i think uh, the number one thing is first of all to realize uh, uh whom are you wanting to sell and then how are you wanting to sell it right for example uh sabko pata hai ki yaar for for a young uh, sir say ad agency they know that their um, or their target market is any company owner who is looking for marketing you know uh, but abhi what happens is aise to universe is मतलब एक आपके शहर के अंदर यू विल फाइंड से वन लेक बिजनेसेस फॉर फॉर मार्केटिंग इट बट व्हाट वेयर डू यू बिगिन विद हु आर दोस व्हिच इज दैट वन कैटेगरी और अ सेक्टर वेयर यू शुड गो अक्रॉस व्हाट इज द साइज ऑफ बिजनेस दैट यू शुड गो अक्रॉस आर दोस बिजनेसेस व्हिच आर बिटवीन 1 टू 5 करोड़ टर्नओवर आर दोस बिजनेसेस शोरूम्स आर दे बी2बी बिजनेसेस आर दे बी2सी बिजनेसेस व्हाट इज देयर नंबर वन प्रॉब्लम सो फर्स्ट हैविंग दैट क्लासिफिकेशन दैट हुम आई वांट टू सेल बिकॉज one classic mistake that everyone done does in sales is that they try to sell it to everyone they yeah. just think that anyone who comes jo mere shikanja mein aayega main usko bechunga which is not how it works right, of course right. everyone needs to have a very defined audience for example for a set i see a very defined audience is those brands uh, jinka marketing uh, spend is beyond say 200 crr a year that right. brand for me is a brand that i will reach out to uske chote wale brands i know will not be able to afford my services so i what i'm trying to say is that that kind of bifurcation or a division is something that uh, uh, uh people need to do once that is uh, done the second is how do i sell them now for example if i'm like i used to uh, i was telling the college i used to sell to showrooms mm-hmm. showrooms ke liye door to door sale works great right yes. but how do you sell to a government organization how do you sell to a private organization how do you sell to a corporate how do you sell, sell to a small and medium enterprise there are different ways of selling it you know right. if you are selling a goods the best way is to go to them and show them a demo you know mm. if you are selling a service 
then probably there are 10 different ways of how a service could be sold yes so are you going through a referral are you reaching out to them through a cold call or a cold email are you walking into their office multiple things so you need to find out what is that one thing that your audience would prefer the best hmm. so pehle audience samajh liya fir audience ke paas kaise jana hai wo samajh liya once those two things are sorted your 90% sales job is done right so uh, i think people they don't understand a very basic concept ki uh-huh. i cannot sell to everyone and i cannot sell in any way right right it's like you first select your target audience and then select you what way they are you know preferring to ki kya right is ja raha hai yeah kyunki ha. sabke liye so hum hai na तो हम है ना सेल अपने आप को पूरे टाइम करते रहते हैं एंड सेल्स इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट बिजनेस यू नो करंटली प्रोबेबली आई एम सेलिंग माय वर्जन टू यू यू नो व्हेन यू आर गोइंग ऑन अ डेट यू आर सेलिंग योरसेल्फ टू समवन एवरीवन इज इन अ जॉब इंटरव्यू अ कैंडिडेट इज ट्राइंग टू सेल देमसेल्व्स टू एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो वी आर ऑलवेज ट्राइंग टू सेल बट वही है कि यू शुड नो व्हाई आई एम आई सेलिंग मतलब आप ऐसा सोचो कि अगर इफ यू आर अ Uh, a java programmer yeah. uh, and if you go to a random it company then start applying for a job good chance that you will not get selected but you need to go to those companies jinko java ki zarurat hai so agar hum wo logic hamare ko samajh mein aata hai to sales mein bhi same logic hota hai yes uh, yes so true like sabke liye har cheez aapko fir personalize karni padegi aapko research karni padegi ki kahan kya best suit kar raha hai and then you can you know exactly. go, go go there that's so true yeah. exactly so like what's the most unconventional sales technique you have ever tried and did like it worked out unconventional i uh, <laughs> uh i will not say unconventional but definitely a, a weird sales technique uh, that i've done is that uh, um uh, i have when i in my initial days of course abhi main aisa nahi karta but in my initial days i would uh, want to build trust saying that you know i am also working with similar people in your domain so uh, in a single domain i used to reach out to five companies and tell each other of them that i am also uh, working with your competitor or going to work with your competitor okay. aisa karke so yeah. panchon ke sath baat karta tha to usme se do ya teen log wo sunke kaam de dete the mere ko so that is something that i have done बट इट वर्क वेन यू आर अ स्मॉल कंपनी कोई क्रेडेंशियल खास वेरीफाइबल थे कंप्यूटर के साथ काम कर रहे तो गुड इनफ पर्सन की दिस कंपनी आई कैन ऑल्सो आय once you get them you also get them so eventually you are not false just that you were buying your own time at some point but yeah the cheap tricks in sales that people do all the time so yeah nahi wo nahi kehte ki jab ghee seedhi ungli se na nikli to ungli teedi karni padti hai to na to it's like exactly to waise hi kyunki agar aapko apni place banani hai to thoda to unconventional ways aapko you know thode se to apnane padenge right Exactly. So, so I've I've done that. So, <laughs> of that. of so, can you like like share a memorable like, success story from your sales training sessions that could inspire our listeners? Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, you know, from uh, from my sessions, uh, of course, I don't do a lot of tracking of people of what they're up to, but. a good chunk of those people they join my sales consultancy after the workshop and that is where i have had people who started with me as a one person company matlab jahan pe they were the freelancers and probably in 2021 i started helping them build it into a larger scale business uh to a point jahan pe they are now running a 50 60 people teams um and uh, most of that could happen only because they learned how to sell well they could yeah. find who their buyer is and how is the buyer interested why is the buyer interested so mere hisab se matlab i will not and i of course cannot take a credit for their mehnat and everything but uh, something that i understand is ki um, uh, sales made a significant difference in their growth aisa so aise bahut sare examples hai mere paas matlab kafi sare log hain jinke um, saath maine kaam kiya jo who were small teams ya fir they were individuals 
एंड दे कुड ग्रो या दे कुड ग्रो देयर बिजनेस मल्टीपल टाइम्स सो पांच साल से बिजनेस सेम पेस पे ग्रोथ हो रहा था बट आफ्टर प्रोबेबली गोइंग थ्रू द बूट कैंप दे काइंड ऑफ पिकड अप कपल ऑफ थिंग्स व्हिच हेल्प देम ग्रो मच फास्टर अक्रॉस सो पीपल डू राइट टू मी दोस काइंड ऑफ मैसेजेस अक्रॉस बट आई विल आई आई विल नॉट कॉल इट लाइक अ सक्सेस स्टडी मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि वो मेरे पास नहीं आते तो उनकी लाइफ कोई फेल uh, थी या Mm-hmm. मेरे साथ उनका इंटरेक्शन वाज इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बट आई डेफिनेटली बिलीव कि कहीं ना कहीं यू नो दे गॉट अ कोर्स करेक्शन डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट टू एक्सपेक्ट व्हेन समवन टेल्स यू कि सेल करना सीखो राइट राइट दैट्स सो गुड दैट्स सो गुड सो आई वुड से दिस एवरीवन आउट देयर टू यू नो जॉइन योर बूट कैंप्स गुड बूट कैंप्स इन एवरीथिंग बिकॉज़ आई थिंक दैट वुड रियली हेल्प यू यू नो एक्सपैंड योर बिजनेस एंड राइज इट टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल सो या दैट्स रियली नाइस so like um you know moving ahead and you know taking a different outlook here so in an age of invo- information overload what strategies do you recommend for maintaining focus and efficient efficiency because you can see out there now as you also said that con- content overload is a very big problem nowadays and uh, it's like he sadat tak sara for those who don't know what's con- content overload content overload इट्स लाइक कि इंस्टाग्राम मतलब आप तो सोशल मीडिया एंड इंटरनेट पे इतना ज्यादा कंटेंट है किसी एक पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक पे एंड हाफ ऑफ ये ज्यादा उसमें सब इरेलीवेंट है एंड पीपल टेन टू यू नो गेट कंफ्यूज दे टेन टू मिक्स अप द इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इट्स रियली वेरी यू नो हार्मफुल फॉर अर्स और एंड ऑल्सो टाइम कंज्यूमिंग एंड विच कैन ऑल्सो लोअर अर प्रोडक्टिविटी सो वॉट कैन यू से ऑन दैट so i tell you our uh, content overload uh, uh, of course social media is one of the reason but social media is not the only reason for it um our content information overload happens because of multiple things you know um just to give you an idea information overload is not just what's happening in your mobile you need to uh, remember uh, uh, where do you get your grocery from uh, when do you pay your maintenance mm-hmm. you need to remember Uh, there are hundreds of functions that you have to continuously your body your brain is continuously going through it you know right. um you, you need to remember to book a cab before leaving from office uh, you need to know uh, how much time it is going to take you need to also mm-hmm. every time you have to take a decision saying that if it, the cab is showing you 300 rupees is it higher is it lower uh, can i purchase it can i not purchase it should i wait should i not wait so every small thing that you add in your life on the name of convenience or entertainment there is a cognitive decision making that comes along with it you know you right. have to make decisions to be able to do it uh, uh, across so the more options that we have on table the more number of information that your brain has to process and right. the more decision making that goes into it very simple for example jab television pe there was one channel everyone used to watch one channel so your only decision was to watch or not to watch yes you know uh, yes. but now because you have multiple channels uh, you have multiple options so every channel you go and then you decide to watch or not to watch then go to the next one and compare it with saying that ye jyada interesting hai ya previous tv uh, channel was more interesting okay. then you move to the next one and say ye interesting hai pehle ki do interesting thi okay. so you know you are just putting your brain into endless decision making all the time and that is where uh, uh, information overload comes into it of course then on top of it uh, add emails add your app notification add right. more than 100 app, apps that you have every app wants your attention every app wants you to make decision um, right. every right. app is going to uh, eat a lot of your brain processes at the end plus social media combined to it mm. plus the moment there social media it also adds another layer that uh, continuously um, uh, social media pay whatever content that you are consuming it gives you certain kind of triggers you know kabhi something you watch or read it makes you really happy something right, right. makes you really sad uh, a lot of times you feel jealous about other people so your brain is continuously running between decision making feeling something not feeling something it's like a jumble that we have created out of our brain uh, yes you know yes. so so uh, the basic premise is that our brains are not designed to function in that particular way the way we are making them function right. abhi everything because it's a dopamine hit it's yeah. it's working the loop is working but very soon our brains will crash because they were designed to only use certain part of information matlab hamara jab brain millions of years tak when it evolved the basic evolution was very simple uh, kya khana chahiye kya nahi khana chahiye kaun se animal ko marna chahiye kis se bhagna chahiye kab jagna chahiye kab sona chahiye aur jo kasbe mein 100 log rehte hain unke naam yaad rakhne chahiye 
डेट्स इट सो हमारा ब्रेन कई मिलियन ऑफ इयर्स तक सिविलाइजेशन वॉज लाइक दिस सो ब्रेन वर मेड फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन देन धीरे धीरे इन्फॉर्मेशन एड होता गया टू अ पॉइंट आर ब्रेन काइंड ऑफ कैप स्ट्रेचिंग बट नाउ आर ब्रेन हैव रीच द प्लेस जहाँ पे ऐसा की मतलब एक कमरे के अंदर इतना सामान भर जाएगा कमरा फट जाएगा हाँ सो एंड इट हेज स्टार्टेड अफेक्टिंग एंड अभी बिकॉज ऑफ दिस लोगों के बिहेवियरल चेंजेस आने शुरू होंगे you cannot predict how a person is going to behave because you don't know what content have they consumed yes Abhi. you know there is a good chance that i have consumed probably i am feeling jealous of someone on social media and apna interaction uske baad turant hota hai so i might be very angry and you will not even realize hmm. that this would have happened because i have because i consumed some emotion that i was not supposed to at that particular time yes. so i'm just saying ki that is what content overload is all about Yes, uh, I totally agree with you on on that. And as you said, ki uh, this is impacting our nature, and also I think it's impacting our lifestyle. But love, you do not have uh, people do not have enough time for their families, you know, their friends because they are all time busy with their thoughts, the things they process, social media, internet, internet applications, and everything out there. So, हमने ना हमने real life में जो जो essential conversations है जो एक इंसान को करनी चाहिए फॉर हिज ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट हमने वो भी बंद कर दिए सो आई थिंक कि हम ज्यादातर फॉर और कंटेंट ओवरलोड का आई आल्सो थिंक कि बहुत बड़ा रीजन ये कि यू नो गॉसिप्स सो आपको इधर की बात भी पता है आपको उधर की बात भी पता है तो उसने वो किया है तो उसकी वाइफ ने ये किया है तो उसके हस्बैंड ने ये किया है सो इट्स टू मच टू टेक इन तो जो असेंशियल चीज है जो आपके माइंड में होनी चाहिए आप उससे भी यू नो पीछे हट रहे हो सो एग्जैक्टली तो तो वो ही होता है ना पीछे इसलिए हटते हैं बिकॉज़ योर ब्रेन गेट्स फटीग्ड इट कैन नॉट मेक सो मेनी डिसीजंस इट कैन नॉट होल्ड सो मच इंफॉर्मेशन एट अ टाइम हम हमारे ब्रेन से बहुत ओवर एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं बट एट द एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इट्स एन ऑर्गन इट्स लाइक योर स्टमक कैन नॉट डाइजेस्ट थिंग्स 24 आवर्स सिमिलरली योर ब्रेन कैन नॉट प्रोसेस इंफॉर्मेशन 24 आवर्स राइट 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 सो लाइक हैव यू एवर एक्सपीरियंस्ड अ मोमेंट व्हेन कंटेंट ओवरलोड सिग्निफिकेंटली इंपैक्टेड योर ओन परफॉर्मेंस and how did you overcome it uh so uh, typically uh, see uh, uh, there is also a realization ki bahut zyada hum isme se nahi bach sakte hain because right. we live in a uh, our economy is structured in such a way that uh, we are all pawns of a right. content uh, ecosystem somewhere you know uh, i definitely for example i have my own hacks in which uh, i don't i i try to minimize my content overload i uh, of course one of the things is i don't watch unnecessarily videos at all my video consumption is only limited to things that i want to learn um, i'll watch it um, or probably when i am really really free ki jab i know i am traveling in a flight there is nothing else to do uh, mm-hmm. i don't want to sleep so i'll watch a video for example i've uh, paused all my notifications so i don't get notification for any app on my phone except for google maps um and uber of course because travel mein you need yeah. notifications everything else is completely muted so i don't have to go to the apps they are not vouching for my attention all the time okay. um that is happening um, also more importantly there is an understanding that mera brain sab kuch consume nahi kar sakta so it is right. okay if i right. miss out on information yes. so i have this wo jo fomo hota hai na ki mujhe sab kuch janna hai wo fomo mere andar se ja chuka hai matlab somewhere that is a very deliberate control ki yaar i can only do this much and uh, i cannot read uh, 52 books in a week uh, yeah, in a month yeah. i cannot watch every latest series i cannot watch every latest film um for last one and a half year i have not seen a single film i am very okay about that entire thing i and it's not that i don't like watching films it's just that my brain i don't want to push more information into it so i am very happy with information about my family about my work Uh, about my friends those three things and of course basic things about whatever my hobby is uh, are around i think utri cheezon se mera din khatam ho jata hai no it's very nice because you know kabhi kabhi kya hota hai ki hum itna zyada you know tired ho jate hain it's like brain fatigue and everything and hum kya karte hain hum just me zabardasti lage hue hain you know the thing you which you said because of dopamine and hum bas lage hue hain and hum ओवर प्रेशराइज कर रहे हैं ब्रेन क्योंकि हमें ये भी करना है तो हमें वो भी करना है हमसे हो नहीं रहा है हमारी बॉडी क्या हमारा ब्रेन अब थक रही है बट स्टिल हम अपने आप को बहुत ज्यादा फोर्स कर रहे हैं इन सम थिंग्स सो आई थिंक कि यू नो यू नीड टू रेगुलेट ऑल दैट स्टफ एंड डेली मेडिटेशन 
and uh, everything like daily meditation and exercise can really improve you know manage manage your thoughts so and uh, jitna aap khud se limit kar sakte ho i know which is very hard lekin aap khud se thoda ek certain level pe limit kar sakte ho ek line create kar sakte ho then it would really help you to you know uh to decrease all this stuff you said that you know aap apni hobbies mein busy rehte ho and that you know passes out your day and everything so switching towards you know legos and everything and mandalas so i think that do you have like favorite lego creation that you have made like can you share the story behind it because uh, we have seen your social media and we have seen so many video for, of yours your reels and everything you oh my god the lego creation uh, that superb like the next next level so yeah so lego of course uh, uh, you know i've been doing that since i was 3 year old oh, and wow. uh, uske baad i did it throughout my school probably i was the only kid in my class or my school who had access to so much legos because my father used to travel a lot across the world so every country used to go uh, for his research purposes he used to get me one lego set so aise karke dheere 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 i i had a good amount of them uh, and then uh, during covid i realized ki uh, abhi mere paas enough lego ho gaye so i need to start doing something Uh, out of them, so I am building a Lego city. So Lego city wow. is like a miniature version of real city. So it's, oh, wow. my Lego okay. city is almost like a uh, like a small banquet hall size ka uh, okay. Lego city which okay. will come up. Oh, okay. So it will have it will uh, have its own trains and um, uh, buildings and amusement park and zoo and every possible thing that a ideal city should have. So I'm making my uh, Lego city, and probably uh, currently I am in love with the idea that I am doing something really, really uh, massive, yeah, uh, massive, which will yeah. take a lot of time also to build. Um, but more importantly, I think one of the projects that I or my Lego setup that I've been really happy is the one that I attempted last year, which was the world record for uh, uh, for Hyundai, where we uh, using Legos I attempted to create the largest uh, holding ever made using the Lego bricks. So. we used almost 3 lakh 2400 right. uh, oh. lego bricks to create a entire 20 feet ka holding and uh, gurgaon mein cyber hub mein uh, dls cyber hub mein we put this entire holding for a good one month where people could come and uh, watch it so 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 yeah so that is something that as a project was very challenging uh, plus itne saal ka all the learnings came together into making it happen yeah that is so amazing matlab uh, apni hobby ko इतने वास्ट लेवल पे एक्सपांड करना एंड वो भी लेगोस के साथ आप ही सोच सकते हो सिर्फ एंड देन यू नो बिल्डिंग दिस लेगो सिटी ओ माय गॉड आई एम सो एक्साइटेड कि जब वो आउट होगी इट वुड बी लाइक ट्रेंडिंग लाइक हेल सो आई कांट यू नो वेट टू सी ऑल दैट इट वुड बी सो गुड ओ माय गॉड आई नो बट आप सो विद सिटी अभी तो आई थिंक इट शुड बी डन इन नेक्स्ट वन और टू मंथ्स अ गुड पार्ट ऑफ इट शुड बी कंप्लीट बिकॉज़ आई हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन इट फॉर ऑलमोस्ट 3 इयर्स नाउ plus uh, oh the the good thing is my mom is my co partner or a partner in crime for making <laughs> uh, the lego that well so during covid uh, while i used to build she also kind of got interested and then now uh, most of the building part she has taken over jahan pe she does the building part i do more of planning and buying and execution part so so we have oh kind of That's hit so a thing so there is also a team member in home uh, who is building it so yes Yeah, that's so sweet and wonderful. Oh my god, I can't wait to see that now. Great. So, how do you think like creative hobbies like Legos and you create mandalas too? So, can benefit others, especially those in high stress professions, as we talked about. So, I think obviously the best part about hobbies, or I'll not say hobbies and side hustle, is that it kind of breaks the monotony of your daily work. You know, right. uh, for example, while I am at office for five days a week, I am. completely into single thought about how to grow 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 there's just one idea that is you're trying to follow now over the weekend um, and a lot of people around me over the weekend they think ki yaar chalo chill karte hain and then again hum log 5 din mehnat kar rahe hain to chalo 2 din chill karenge which is matlab main aisa dekhu to aapka analogy do to in terms of if i was a vehicle 5 uh, din ke liye khub gaadi chalao aur 2 din ke liye gaadi ko एकदम इंजिन को बंद कर दो फिर पांच दिन उसको चलाओ फिर बंद कर दो तो मेरे को समहाउ आई एम नॉट वेरी कन्विंस विद एन आइडिया दैट वीकेंड इज अबाउट चिल मेरे लिए वीकेंड्स वर एंड स्टिल आर समथिंग जहां पे यू स्टिल कीप डूइंग वर्क जस्ट दैट यू डू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वर्क समथिंग व्हिच इज ऑफ मोर लव टू यू काइंड ऑफ फॉर एग्जांपल यू लव गार्डनिंग डू गार्डनिंग ओवर वीकेंड्स यू लव 
um, writing, you write over weekend. Something that you love, which is which keeps your brain active, does not throw your brain into an inactive state. Saying that two days, dimag band kar diya, dimag koi switch to any kya band kar sakte ho. So it's that such a word, and you have to utilize it for something good. So I think that is where I thought that weekends, I wanted to do something uh, which is going to be productive. Uh, and break my monotony of not thinking the same things to my mind. For example, when I meet my friends on weekends, typically weekend, hai, so your conversation should be about something fun. But eventually, every five, five minutes, ke baad, every conversation becomes like a work conversation. So, what do you think about your office? What do you think So, I think that, and that happens because you don't get out of your mind from the weekend. Pe bahar hi nahi nikal pae. Right. Because on the weekend, you don't get out of your mind from so your brain instead of focusing on something new it's just doing same thing so i think hobbies basically have that high potential to throw you out from your um from your regular cognitive thinking into something very unusual and then still keep your brain occupied mm. uh, instead of putting it completely into a uh, into a dead mode i i totally agree with you and i think ki, you know वैसे इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट कि अपनी हॉबीज के लिए टाइम निकालना वेन यू आर यू नो इन अ वेरी बिजी स्केड्यूल ऑल डे बट आई गेस कि अपना दिन में एटलीस्ट हाफ एन आवर एटलीस्ट चाहे वो मॉर्निंग टाइम हो या और इवनिंग टाइम हो या रात में एनी टाइम हाफ एन आवर वो चीज करनी चाहिए जो आपको खुद पसंद है इट कैन बी रीडिंग योर फेवरेट बुक और वॉचिंग योर वॉचिंग योर फेवरेट मूवी और समथिंग लाइक यू नो जिससे आप फ्रेश अप हो जाओ ताकि अब नेक्स्ट डे पे बिल्कुल एक प्रेशर के साथ ना जाओ एक हैप्पी मूड के साथ जाओ कि यस आई वांट टू कंटिन्यू माय डे जस्ट लाइक जैसे मंडे होता है वी आर सो एनर्जेटिक ऑन मंडे कि यस वी नीड टू वर्क दिस वीकेंड दिस होल वीक एंड वगैरह वगैरह बट बट हम थर्सडे फ्राइडे तक आते आते इतने ज्यादा टायर्ड हो जाते हैं कि हम वी आर लाइक कब वीकेंड आएगा कब वीकेंड आएगा बस अब नहीं हो रहा तो वो चीज नहीं आनी चाहिए आपके एवरी डे में एटलीस्ट आप अपने लाइफ स्टाइल में हाफ एन आवर निकालो या फोर्टी फाइव मिनट या फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एटलीस्ट एंड वो चीज करो जिसमें यू आर रियली पैशनेट अबाउट एंड यू रियली लाइक डूइंग एंड यू आर लाइक स्ट्रेस फ्री सो आई गेस आपको हमेशा एक टाइम निकालना चाहिए एंड वीक गेस की आप जैसे आपने कहा कि वो टाइम होता है जहाँ पे आप वीक डेज में जिस चीज़ों के लिए इतना टाइम नहीं निकाल पाते आप वीकेंड्स में कर रहे हो सो इंस्टेड ऑफ यू नो ब्रिंगिंग योर होल वर्क होम do or, or you know um, going to a party or you know clubbing and all okay sabka enjoyment level is different but you are pura din se right night you are like morning to night you are you know going parties and stuff and monday ko you are getting up very tired so instead do something where you are freshening your up it, uh, you, yourself out like detoxing yourself from the work so i could say that exactly exactly so yeah yeah that's what hobby is um, do to your body and brain yeah right so like if you could design a lego set that represents your life journey what would it be like it would be a maze okay it would be like a proper maze made out of lego where you oh, have to okay. find in fact uh, uh, very coincidentally today is the day that i'm also making a lego maze so oh, so yes wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing that's great so like uh, you know coming to an end uh i would ask like what message or thing which you would like to say to our audience out there who is listening to you right now uh, uh probably i think um, one uh, one very definite thing is that there are two mindsets that every one of us has you know there's a um, there's a fixed mindset saying that jo jaise chal raha hai waise chalne do probably right. try uh, to keep things the way they are because because you have an absolute control over over things and the second is growth mindset where you are ready to probably face new challenges uh take up new things even if it comes at a cost even if you are not getting compensated for the same but mm. the growth mindset is all about saying that even if i don't get paid for it uh, i still want to do newer things across yeah. you know i still want to try i'll still take a project at uh, zero profit because i want to learn about Mm. things because that will give me a insight it would be like a free learning for me so there's a growth mindset yahan pe every challenge you look at as an opportunity and there's a fixed mindset where every opportunity you look at as a challenge so right. very simple uh, yeah. uh, way of uh, distinguishing uh, so if you're listening to this podcast figure out which one are you are you the one with the fixed mindset who thinks that every time a new opportunity comes you are like why did this happen into my life or are you a person who says 
uh, that you know what every time a challenge comes you are like oh wow let me take this up let's mm-hmm. make an opportunity out of it you which which one are you uh, because people in growth mindset are just those one person people uh, and those one person people are the one who are going to move the world people yeah. in fixed mindset are the other 99% people uh, and they'll always be the ones who will follow the world so decide for you which one you are i totally agree with you on that point so guys if you are listening please listen his words very nicely and very kindly because he is you know telling some life truth and wo aapko ye aur kahi aur nahi milega so rhythm how was your experience today on the show make a change that strive to more and a shame conversations a uh, really good chatting with an 18 year old uh, <laughs> on things that typically you speak to a 35 year old so uh, so yes and i think you you did a fantastic part of research uh and you made it feel like a conversation uh instead of a question and answer so i think that uh, uh that is something that was very very refreshing well, um and i i i particularly feel that you should keep doing this uh with more and more people um because uh, i understand for your listeners it might be a journey but even for your speakers it's a journey you know they get to introspect themselves while they are preparing for this uh, they think about themselves and this is not a regular activity that every day you don't think about yourself right, in a way right. that you think before you are going to speak on a podcast for example right so right. i think um, uh, you definitely you are also making a change uh, uh, in a big way and keep doing that thank you so much and thank you so much for joining us today like it was a pleasure to talk to you and thank you so much for such kind words absolutely my pleasure